Paul de Hurt, that's me. I'm a, an international human rights expert interested in uh, legal practice and fundamental reflections, involved in many projects about ambient intelligence, identity, profiling, data protection, property rights, e-publishing. And I'm also the main organizer of a, a, a big international conference on uh, technology and privacy and data protection. Um, that's all true. I am not so much uh, uh, a connoisseur or uh, an expert in technical things, but I'm a lawyer and, um, and I like uh, to, to be involved in, in a lot of developments uh, created by technology and, and the changes it brings about and to reflect upon it as a lawyer. Anonymity is everywhere. People need it, people use it, people are afraid of it. And, but um, uh, not, it's not supported or uh, lived in the same way all over. This is um, Ask the Poets. Eh? What's the self? Eh? We lawyers, we're not so into poetry. Um, the, but uh, what we think as lawyers, eh, is in European lawyers in particular, is that um, the self is something that you shouldn't impede upon too much and you should not narrow down a person to a name, a gender, and so on. So in Europe, there should be, there is a tendency to acknowledge um, practices of pseudonyms and, and, um, and second lives. And we think that's good. We think that's a, a way to explore the self and to give it other dimensions. I would like to be a, uh, why, why should my Facebook account be on my name? Why can't I use another name? Huh? And so um, if you, narrow it down to natural persons and their, and their official names uh, and of official genders and official ages, that's going to be very boring. And, and um, I think that's what uh, a lesson for the big American firms, because it's not the American government, they too, but it's especially the major firms in, in, in the United States, they should receive that lesson more clearly. Stop asking our, our real data. And if there is a need for security, then fix it, but differently. But uh, give us a social network sites where we can be whoever we want and then see what happens. The trails are there. Huh? So that's, that's the internet. Huh? You leave trails. And should we be concerned? Yes. Huh? In the name of um, a lot of things. Huh? And it's not only about anonymity and and do whatever you want to do unknown. Huh? But it's about uh, a lot of things together. So the internet allows human beings to, to do almost everything they do in offline, also online. Think about voting. Huh? And that's uh, an instance where we should be very aware of our trails. Uh, we have a culture of anonymous voting. We can hide from others the, our political preferences. I would not like to see a world where um, smart consultancies know by the way you're surfing to certain political sites what kind of party you would vote on. I would find that dreadful. I think the distinction between public and private changes. It changes naturally. It changes due to technology. Uh, it will, I'm one of those believers that thinks that um, we can uphold that distinction, and we should, by the way. One of these ideas now is uh, the idea of uh, the right to forget, which is a legal idea. But this is one of these ideas, so we, w we don't want to be remembered of the stupid things we said 20 years ago. And we should organize the internet thus that these things are deleted when we want them to be deleted. I think it's a social right to have the internet. So I pay my provider, but should I really pay my provider? Eh, shouldn't that be free? I think it's very important to discuss access to the internet, uh, both technically and content-wise, because the, the censorship idea is growing in force. First it were terrorists, then it were um, Holocaust deniers, non-discrimination issues, then it's sexual language. So the there's always a good reason to censure. And I think we should be very prudent. And that's why the right of freedom of expression 
should be um, should be complemented with, with a clear right to have access to the internet. The governments are there and I'm troubled by it. I'm troubled by it. Um, I think they understand the message that they should protect citizen and that's the, uh, that's the aspect that I like. But the, the censoring thing today is troublesome and I think uh, th there should be a, a good reflection about how far states want to go. Um, if there's one riot in London, they want to cut off Twitter. Huh? If there's one, um, uh, one problem with a, a Facebook call to come to a party, they want to stop Facebook. So this is going to be the question for the future. Um, how can we keep something of that initial freedom on the internet? Um, and how can we tame that, that these governments with their regulatory needs? And what's going to be the difference between China and the United Kingdom? I'm very interested in it. And it's not about good intentions. I don't buy good intentions. The UK government should prove me that they do it better than China. And I don't think they can. Let's look. Let's see what comes out of it. And let's see whether West, Western world can do better than, than, than others. From a legal perspective, yesterday I heard a nice quote from somebody, I don't know for, who is the original uh, author of it, but in the beginning there were no rights, no votes, only rough consensus. That's how the internet cre was created, that atmosphere, very rock and roll atmosphere. And today it works with votes and procedures. And, and so um, I think that's a good quote. Let's keep in the rock and roll, huh? but, um, but it can't be the initial. Uh, rock and roll anymore. But that's the government promising us to do a lot better by approaching us, not through papers, but th digitally. That's the government calculating for us how much taxes we need to pay instead of us declaring taxes. So that's the government do massively collecting data to help the citizen. And um, what I would like to put against that is, uh, please governments, uh, you might, I have nothing against smarter governments, but two, all, all knowing governments are a danger. So, effective government, okay, all knowing governments, bad idea.